no real clear cut chances created. The biggest chance, a cross from Ella Morris that nearly caught Demi Lamborn out. There might be a chance here though. Katie Wilkinson has won the ball and it's played through and driven and home. And that is put home by Molly Pike, her fourth goal of the season, and Emma from Crystal Palace at the back. Katie Wilkinson pressuring Demi Lamborn, winning the loose ball, and Molly Pike eventually gets on the end of it. Chris Gibbons lifts this into the area, it's headed, and that's an immediate equaliser for Crystal Palace, and it is the captain, Amy Everett, who races onto the free kick and powers her header into the top corner. Fairfield fires in across, has to be cleared away. And it was Kendall who gets it in, lifted towards the back post, and the header will drop over the top, and suddenly it is 2-1 to Southampton. It is Ella Morris who wins the header and loops it over Demi Lamborn, who looked to be caught out there. Morris saw the opportunity. And we've had three goals in the first 23 minutes. And Dale will lift the ball forward and it's just knocked on by Katie Wilkinson but there is no control really and Araya Dennis will chase this with Paige Peak and there could be some confusion here because Kayla Rendell has got caught up and Elise Hughes can't get the shot off still Araya Dennis as well and that was a very big chance for Crystal Palace Dennis Turns away well from Paige Peak and Lucia Kendall. Finds Potter. It's driven towards and put home and it's 2-2. And it is Elise Hughes. Driven across by Fliss Gibbons. And Elise Hughes, as she's done so often this season, applies the crucial touch. That's her 10th goal of the season. Crystal Palace can now go top if they win today, but they will have some defending to do. Demi Lamborn comes out, she can't touch this with her hands, eventually gets it away, she's still a long way out of the area. Panic from Crystal Palace there. With several Palace fans in the team, including, including Sean Aguirre on the bench. Here is Araya Dennis, though. Naraya Dennis will play the ball across, it's cleared away, and there is a penalty that looks like it's been given here. Rosie Parnell can't quite believe it. Uh, the argument from Southampton, I think, is that the ball was played away, but it is a Palace penalty. Elise Hughes, the top scorer in the championship, with ten goals, takes a breath. Runs up and drives it into the roof of the net. Great penalty from Elise Hughes. And Atlanta Primus will stand over this. But it is Jeremy Perfield who lifts it in towards the back post. Out of his wooden tipped onto the bar and ricochets away. Still not fully away yet. Southampton still attacking and Rihanna Dean will force the ball home. And another twist in this game. It is now 3-3. Rihanna Dean scoring against her former club. I think it was, in fact, Alice Griffiths who won the initial header, one of the subs, and then Rihanna Dean there forces the ball home. And played down the right side for Primus. And to Primus comes from a footballing family. The ball is crossed in, and what a goal that is! It's Katie Wilkinson! Out of the blue! Katie Wilkinson only needs one chance. And for the third time this game, Southampton take the lead.